Okay, pre-algebra, we're on example one, um, lesson two of this unit on polynomials. Today we're talking about adding and subtracting polynomials. In our first example, before we even add, subtract, even in the future when we get into multiplying all those things, I want to talk about standard form. Because when you give an answer to any question when you're dealing with polynomials, your final answer needs to be in standard form. And what standard form is, is basically you want the terms with the highest exponent first, and then you want to descend down accordingly. So if I look at our first term here, 7 plus 2x squared, I look, 7 doesn't even have a variable at all. If you remember from yesterday's lesson, 7 has a degree of 0, while 2x squared has an exponent of 2, so a degree of 2. So that term needs to be first. So this answer in standard form would be, my first term would be 2x squared, my second term would be 7, since that's positive 7, I put plus 7. So we're not really changing, we're not changing the value of this expression at all. All we're doing is just moving things around so that it is in standard form. Like if I look at my next one, I've got a 9, which is a degree of 0. I've got an x, which is a degree of 1. And then a negative 4x squared, which has a degree of 2. So that's going to be first. That's my highest term, and I'm going to work my way down. So first, I'm going to put, remember, the sign in front of the term stays with the term. Since this is minus 4x squared, I'm going to put this as a negative 4x squared. Then next, I look at my next term. I've got x, which is a degree of 1, and 9, a degree of 0, so x should be next. It's plus x, so I'm going to put plus x here as well. And then I move on. Finally, I've got my 9. This is a positive 9, so I put plus 9. So basically, you can see we took everything in here, and we just reordered it so that it was in standard form. Let's look at our next one. We can see we got a to the first, a to the second, a to the third, and just a 1 with no variable. So to put these in order, first would be a to the third, then a squared. These are all pluses. Everything's positive, so I know it's going to be pluses. Plus a plus 1. And then we look at our last one. I look, I've got a negative 3m squared here. I've got a negative m cubed to the third power. That's definitely my highest exponent. So that's going to go first. Since this is minus m cubed, I'm going to put it as negative m cubed. Then I'll move on to my m squared. Since this is minus m 3m squared, I'm going, to, I'm going to put minus 3m squared here. Then I've got an m. This is plus 2m, so plus 2m here. And then I've got my number finally. That's a positive 8. So I'm going to put plus 8. So that is standard form. All right, this was example one. I got another example coming to you, so please check out that video as well.